So Twitch just announced that you can start getting more money from your Twitch subs. But in order to do that, you have to have at least 100 sub points. So let me show you how to add your own Twitch sub point counter goal to help you start keeping track of your sub points and push you to get even more. If that sounds good, drop a quick like on this video so other people can find this video. And let's get started. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can ask me over on Twitch every Monday at 7 p.m. Central. But in order to start adding our Twitch sub point counter, we have to one, be a Twitch affiliate, which if you're not a Twitch affiliate, that means you haven't unlocked the sub button. So keep grinding until you do. And I'll leave a link in the description down below on the Twitch affiliate requirements to help you get them faster. But assuming you're a Twitch affiliate, we'll go to the top right corner and click our little icon, and then we'll go to the creator dashboard. Now, if you haven't seen my video, which I'll leave in the top right corner, you need 100 sub points in order to get a 60-40 split. I need a 300 sub points to get a 70-30 split, which means you'll get 70% of the $5 revenue. Now, in order to keep track of your sub points, we'll go to the stream manager in the top left corner and you'll see at the very top where it shows your subscribers and your sub points. So we're at 19 sub points right now. Now, in order to get more sub points, we can use a sub point goal to help show our audience that we're trying to get more sub points for our stream to be eligible to get more money to get more McChickens in your tummy. So a really easy way to get a very basic sub point counter goal is we'll go to the quick actions here on the right. And if you don't have already, a manage goals button, you can go to the bottom where it has this little plus button, and then you'll go to the quick actions and we'll just type in goal. And then you'll see this manage goals option and you'll simply hit the add button. Now I've already added one, so I already have one here, but once you click the add button, we can X this out and you'll see your little button on your little panel here for the quick actions. Now, if you don't see your quick actions, simply just click that little arrow and then you'll be able to click on quick actions here. So now that we have our quick actions here, I know I've said that so many dang times already, but we'll click on manage goals. So we'll click manage goals. And then you'll see that we have a subscription goal and a follower goal. So if you're not a Twitch affiliate quite yet, you can do the same process for a follower goal until you get your sub button to get the subscription goal. Now you can see here that we have total 19 sub points and I have a goal set for 100. So I'm just gonna end the goal just to show you how to make a new one. So I'll click manage goals again and we can have our sub count right here. So sub count, total sub points, that's what I wanna have. You can also have one for new subs or new sub points but overall, I think most people are going to benefit from the total sub points category, and that will simply count your total number of sub points. So if you want, you can start small, like you can have it if we're at 19, probably start at 30. So that way it's a lot more achievable and it's in reach. So people are more willing to sub to you to give you more sub points. But if you just want to go balls deep, then you can just change this with a little pencil icon and put that bad boy at 100 or 300 because you want to show them we mean business. We want to get that 60-40 or 70-30 split as soon as possible. And I don't blame you. So you can set whatever goal you want there in small increments or large increments if you just want to go for the Hail Mary, like an NFL Blitz 2000 on the N64. If you know, you know. You can also set a description, which it just, you can have it say, I don't know, let's say, help me get more money. Uh, it's not the money symbol. Money, please. All right, well, obviously you're gonna wanna pick one better than that because this on two lines, but whatever. Just make a description if you want, or you can just leave it blank like me because I'm not creative anymore. That was long ago. And then you can simply hit the customize button to change whatever color you want. There's not too many colors, which I feel like they kind of messed up on that, but I'll just go with this one. I think this one looks pretty cool. So I'll hit save. And then if you want, you can also set up goal alerts, which you can click by doing that. But we're gonna keep it extremely simple for this video and you can feel free to explore that on your own if you want. But now we're gonna be led to this browser source goal. So I'm gonna click this copy button right here. And then you'll also notice that it says set the browser width height to 1480 by 160. And then you can drag to resize it. So let's go into our streaming software. You can use OBS Studio, Twitch Studio, Streamlabs, whatever your little heart desires. So I'm gonna go in and use OBS Studio for this video, but you can use whatever you want. So I've just got my basic starting soon screen right here, which if you wanna get one, you can check out my streamer starter pack, which I have linked in the description down below and a 20% off just for you guys who are watching this YouTube video. So we got our stream right here. We're gonna add a new source. So click that little plus button under sources and then click browser source. I'm gonna call this one sub goal. And then we can hit OK. And now we're going to paste in that URL that we had copied over on Twitch here. And then we will change the width to, I forgot what it was. I think it was 1480 by one something. 
Let me go back and check. I was right, it's 1480 by 160. That was pretty dang close. So we're gonna do 1480 by 160. Then we can hit okay. Give it a second to load. We're gonna have it right here. It's not loading yet because we didn't hit start goal yet. So let's go back and do that. So once we have it here, we can hit start goal. It's gonna populate that. It's even gonna add this little cool animated banner to the chat, which I think is really cool at grabbing your viewers' attentions. So now we can go back to OBS. And as you can see now, we have our sub goal right here. So you can obviously drag the corners to make it larger or smaller. So I'll probably put it, I don't know, right about here. No, that's obnoxious. Let's, <laughs> let's do right there. And that way, anytime you get a new sub point, it will populate and push the bar up closer to whatever goal you set. So now you can start pushing to get that higher sub split revenue to get that more money in your pocket, which you can use to grab my streamer starter pack in the description down below. But watch this video to the side of me. It's going to help level up your streaming game. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.